CNC programmer. CNC programmer. CNC programmer. Changed everything. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan. Uh, and I hid in my shop. I'm in my tool crib. I'm on the other side. And uh, I just want to talk to you guys about solving problems, being a CNC programmer, and why being a programmer makes you like king of the industry. And and I say that very humbly, but it's true. And a king can crash his kingdom, or he can excel and allow his kingdom to rise to greatness. So why is a CNC programmer the king? Oh, that's what we're gonna talk about, right? Check this out. I have an awesome family, but a lot of the techniques and different things that I use with my family, I learned because I'm a CNC programmer. I have a company, but I have a company because I'm a CNC programmer, right? I have no education, right? I came up learning how to machine and eventually own my own company. You guys have seen on TV, like I've built companies, I've built a school, I just get problem solving and I thrive in it because I'm a CNC programmer, right? Right now we're doing the daily videos and, and you guys have seen an amazing amount of information come at you all for free. The guy in your shop that's super experienced all of a sudden every day is just speaking into you to help you and develop you to lift you up so that you can be great in this trade. And that's me and my team coming through this computer, coming through your phone every day to talk to you, right? And I got partners. We got the craziest engineers in the world for the biggest companies that are gonna be feeding into it. We got the biggest companies feeding into it. We got the academy. We got, we just got everything going on, right? And we're doing it for free. On the vlogs, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that is your button to the future. That button is gonna allow you to gain industry expert knowledge every day. Machining is easy. It's about the knowledge that you've banked in your head. It's about your vocabulary of understanding the tools, right? The tools for cutting metal and different types of metals, the tools for setting up, the tools for fixturing parts and design. It's about all that knowledge, all the variables coming together where you have a bank and that bank is filled with gold, meaning like top level stuff. That's what we're doing every day is we're giving you top level stuff, right? You guys are kings. Understand that a king can lift a company, can lift a country or demolish a company and demolish a country, right? Why do I say that? Because being a CNC programmer, your mind is actually dictating the pace of others as they run your parts. If you think outside the box, if you go after the great tools, if you push the limits and continually progress in the trade, you will take your company to a high level. But if you settle for what you did two years ago and you keep the program in a box and you go on to solve other problems and you don't walk with technology and advance with in alignment with technology, then you will hold your company, your fellow employees, your boss, your everything, you will hold them back from actually rising to greatness where they can actually make money and actually pay you more and pay everybody else more, right? A lot of people tell me like, oh man, like my shop doesn't pay me and like, oh, my shop doesn't pay me enough. And I'm like, are you a pillar? Are you surrounded by pillars lifting up that shop? Are you guys excelling in a way that you guys are making money so the company needs to actually pay out that money? Does your king, your programmers, are they excelling in lifting up that company to greatness? Is your boss and CEO lifting up the company to greatness? Because if they are and everything's going up and you're still not making money, then it is time to go to a different company that has vision and has a kingdom that they're going to work hard for, right? People looked at me and I didn't, I didn't have any education. I wanted to start my own shop. I built many different shops, right? And help other people build shops. People looked at me like, man, like, is Titan gonna be able to make it on his own? But what they didn't understand was, I was a CNC programmer, man. What I say is like, 
in a program, you have to look at a complex job. A CNC program has to look at, at a complex job. And instead of being freaked out, and, oh man, look at all those holes in there, oh, how am I gonna do it? They just have to be like, we can make anything. So let's look at it, let's dissect it, let's look at the datums, look at the tolerances, let's look at the material removal, let's look at all that information banked in our head, and let's basically take this thing apart and prioritize, let's create the foundation, let's allow it to move, let's hit those datums, let's hit everything we can at the same time that we hit those datums, once the material is relaxed, and basically go one step at a time to actually create this part. Instead of Swiss cheese with all these different holes, just look at one hole size, get rid of everything else, and basically, okay, let's do this, and then let's do this, and let's do this, and let's do this, and then how can we do it all efficiently, right? So you gotta have that mind to actually figure it out. And guess what? How does it relate to business? Well, I have employees, I have customers, I have vendors, I have every single job in the shop. I have the, the TV show, I have videos, I have editors, I have DPs, I have you know upper management, I have different levels of all these different things and stuff. And basically, I can't freak out being one guy that has to oversee it. I see the Swiss cheese, I dissect it, I prioritize based on level of like how quickly I can get things done and importance. And basically, I go through the steps to make sure that I give the right a lot of time to each section of my company therefore leading them to greatness, right? I do it with my family too. I have my wife, I have my kids, I have family time, I have business time, I have my weekends, I have my life. I basically, I'm like, okay, get rid of my life. It's company and family, which is my life. I dissect it, I look at my day, I figure out how I can actually get the most done as efficiently as possible and I put the work in for my company and do all these different things. But I do it in a way that I make sure that I have enough time for my family and that's non-negotiable, right? So in the morning, I feed my son every morning, right? I, I spend time with them before they go to school. At, at night when I come home, I, I, I work, I work out, I do different things. But once a certain time period comes, I put that time into my family, my kids, my wife, and we spend time. And then my weekends are dedicated to my family. Once in a while you see me coming in the shop early in the morning, but that's when, when they're kind of getting up and doing different things and stuff. I'll come and get some stuff done and then I'm always like home like at a certain time to make it happen. I'm a CNC programmer. That's what it's enabled me to do. People are like, oh, you can't make TV. It's like, wait, I'm a CNC programmer. Like, it's art on the wall, right? We're, we're gonna make this film, so let's dissect it. Let's figure out what the story is. Let's figure out what all the B-roll is. Let's figure out what we need as far as filming it and editing it and producing it and delivering it and quality checking it. And let's just go through the motion, right? Because what is a CNC programmer? It's somebody whose minds builds things. All right. So anyway, I just want to, I just want to engage you guys. I want to let you guys know that every day I'm going to be helping you become a better CNC programmer. If you don't have the opportunity to actually be a programmer, this is valuable knowledge. It's valuable knowledge. And, and we as people, we have a need for knowledge. We have a need to believe in something. We have a need to actually rise up. I'm not listening to all those guys that say, whoa, they can all be programmers, so don't teach them because programming helps you in life. So I'm gonna teach you how to be a great machinist, a great programmer. I'm gonna teach you all of it. You're gonna bank the information and then there will be times that you can actually use that information and you can it'll help you in life. And one day you can get an opportunity to actually program instead of like coming from the bottom, you will blow people's minds because they're like, oh, you know about that fixed string? You know about the Mighty Byte stuff? You know about the Royal Quick Grip? You know about the tooling and the Harvey 3 from Cannon Metal? And you know about the Tool Boss and and you know about Novo, and you know about like this, this, this. How do you learn of all of these different things? You know the service foot and the chip load for actually running a Harvey 3 in titanium four times V? How could you ever possibly know those techniques? Because I watch Titans of CNC Academy, I follow them. I actually go on to the Academy 
I actually do the tutorials. Oh, I don't just know that. I can design any five axis part. I can design fixturing. I can do all these different things. And if you give me a shot, I will actually put it right there in that machine and I will like hit that button and you will have perfection because I've been going over it and over it and over in my mind. All I need is an opportunity. Look at all the things that I've done. All I need is an opportunity and guess what? Somebody will give you that opportunity because you're gonna blow their mind. So again, I love you guys. I love this trade. Every day we're bringing content to you. Please hit that subscribe button because that subscribe button is your button to the future. Like we're gonna give you that knowledge. Look at all the different YouTube channels. Who's teaching you how to machine Monel? Who's teaching you how to machine Inconel? Who's doing crazy five axis tutorials and giving it to you for free? We are, all right, we are. So we're gonna help you in this trade. Give me questions. Let me know what you wanna learn and I will speak it to you. And if I don't know, I'll ask. And I'll go to the community and ask, how do you do this, how do you do that, right? And together, we'll have fun and we'll take it all to another level. Wow.